Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to fix a common issue with your Squarespace website, and that's controlling the logo or image that appears when you share your website on Facebook. It's a really quick and easy fix, so stick around for that. But first, if you're new here, hi, I'm Louise of louisehenry.com. Here on this channel, I share videos all about tech, systems, and entrepreneurship. So if those are topics you're interested in, definitely hit subscribe down below and hit that bell icon as well so you don't miss future videos. All right, so let's dive into the simple solution for this common problem. Okay, so here's the issue that we're talking about. When people go to share their website on Facebook, their logo gets cut off like this. So not only do we need to worry about how it looks when you're creating a post like this, we also need to worry about how it looks as a comment like this. So we have two views that we need to account for. So we're going to fix this issue first, and then I'm also going to show you how to change this image based on what page you're sharing on Facebook. So in order to fix this issue, we're going to go into Canva, click create a design, and then you're going to click custom dimensions. And I would recommend that you do 1500 by 1500 pixels PX. Click create design and then you're going to upload your logo. So you can go into uploads, grab your logo file and drag that in. So literally just drag it on top of this area. Once it's uploaded, you're going to click on it. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to make it as big as you can, but you want to keep it within this center area here. Okay, so you need to leave some empty space up the top here and up at the bottom as well. Okay, great. And I would also recommend that you keep it as a white background. So you're going to download this and you're going to download as a PNG and just for now, do not check transparent background. All right, let's hit download. Okay, great. So let's click on that. And then you're going to rename this before you upload to Squarespace, like you should be doing with any image that you upload to Squarespace. I'm going to do Louise Henry logo. Okay, great. Now in Squarespace, we need to click on design, logo and title. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we're going to upload our social sharing logo. So I'm gonna remove this one and I'm going to upload our new file that we've just created. Awesome, let's hit save. So now in order for this image to be the one that appears on Facebook, there's one more thing that we need to do and that's use their debugger tool. So I'll leave a link for you in the description below. You're going to click on that and then you're going to paste in your domain name and hit debug. So as you can see, our old one is still showing up. Don't worry, that is totally normal. All you need to do is then hit scrape again. You're going to click on that and it might not work the first time, so hit it one more time. And as you can see, we now have our brand new social sharing logo. So let's go back into Facebook. Let's do another test with sharing that. So as you can see, as a post, it looks good. Now let's see how it looks as a comment. Awesome, so there we go. As you can see, it is all fixed. So that is how we solve the first issue, okay? Gotta show Laura some love for this comment. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> okay. So that has solved our issue for our social sharing logo. But let's say you want a different image to appear when you share your homepage. All you have to do is hit back and back again, and you're going to go into pages. Next, what I'm going to do is click on the gear icon next to my homepage. I'm going to go to social image scroll down and I'm going to add an image here. So you can add an alternate social sharing logo for each page. So I'm going to click add image and I'm going to upload the image that I've used on my homepage. Awesome, so as you can see, they give you a preview of what it's going to look like. So I'm going to hit save 
And then we once again need to go back to our debugger tool because we're changing what shows up on our homepage. So I'm going to hit scrape again and scrape again. And as you can see now, when I share my homepage, this image is going to come up instead. So it's up to you which one you want to display. If you don't upload a different image under social image, so let's say I didn't have anything there, then by default, the social sharing logo is going to display. But if you'd like to switch that up, you can go through this process for every one of your other pages. So I hope that you found this video helpful. This is a very common issue, but now it's fixed. And anytime you need to make a change, you can just come back to the debugger tool and this will solve the issue. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. A super quick and easy fix. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if this fixed the issue for you or if you have any other questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, remember to hit subscribe and I'll see you real soon with another video.